Welcome to our lecture online. In the previous video, we found the moment of inertia of this triangle right here relative to the x-axis. We found it to be 1 sixth the area of the triangle times h squared, h being the height of the triangle. Now we're going to do it for this triangle. It's the exact same area, but now we have flipped the triangle over so that the base is now as far away from the x-axis as possible. We still have the triangle touch the x-axis right here. There's the height of the triangle. We have a small area element right here, dA, which is equal to the width, x, times the height, dy. The equation of this line, since it goes to the origin, it's going to be y equals mx plus 0. The y-intercept is at 0, and the slope is the rise over the run, h over b. We know we're going to need this equation solve for x in terms of y, so therefore x equals b over h times y. So the moment of inertia of this triangle can be found as follows, and this is relative to the x-axis, it's equal to the integral. We're going to integrate all the little area elements from y equals 0 to y equals h. We're going to take the distance to the area element squared times the area element, and then of course integrate or sum up all the little area elements, which is the integral. So we're going to replace dA with what dA is equal to. So this becomes equal to the integral from 0 to h of y squared Instead of dA, we're going to write x times dy. Now, of course, x can be written in terms of y like this, so we might make that substitution. This is equal to the integral from 0 to h of y squared. Instead of x, we're going to write b over h times y times dy, and then taking b over h outside the integral sign, combining the y's, this becomes equal to b over h times the integral of y cubed dy integrated from 0 to h. Now that's an easy integral to solve. This becomes equal to b over h times y to the fourth over 4 evaluated from 0 to h. When we plug in the lower limit, we get 0. When we plug in the upper limit, we get the following. This is equal to 1 quarter b over h, and that gives us h to the fourth power. Of course, that will cancel out with the h down here, so this becomes 1 quarter b h cubed. And then we realize that the area of a triangle is equal to 1 half the base times the height, so this can be written as 1 half times 1 half the base times the height, and then we still have an h squared left. Since this is the area of the triangle, this is equal to 1 half the area times h squared. Now let's compare that to the result we got in the previous video. In the previous video, we ended up with this. So here now we can write that i sub x is equal to 1 half the area times h squared. And we expect a larger value, of course, 1 half is much larger than 1 sixth. This is three times the moment of inertia of this triangle, and the reason is because the triangle is flipped. More of its area is farther away from the, x, from the axis of rotation, the x-axis, so we expect a larger moment of inertia here. Notice the moment of inertia of this one is three times the moment of inertia of that one. And that's how it's done.